Hey folks, I'm out here in Brooklyn near Prospect Park in that area where the fountain is near Prospect Park if you've ever been here. It's a nice little place out here in Brooklyn. I'm the John Brown Volunteers. We're doing outreach and I thought I might just hop on. You know, this isn't going to be a really long, complicated video. I don't have time for that. I do make a lot of content and but I just felt the need to to make this video real quick because a lot of people have noticed that the mainstream left, uh, the Jacobin crowd, the bread tubers, the, that whole milieu, they're in kind of a cancel culture frenzy. I mean, they've always been trying to cancel people, always been trying to destroy people's lives and careers if they don't go along with their pro-imperialist version of socialism. Everyone's a Nazi, everyone's a Nazbull, Everyone's a tanky, everyone's, everyone's, you know, if you don't go along with Washington's latest war, you don't think socialism is just a, you know, an employee stock ownership program. If you don't denounce and disavow every country the USA is getting ready to attack, if you don't cut off and disassociate from anyone who doesn't 100% agree with, you know, their platform on whatever issue it is, you're a bad person. Um, I've been doing this for a while. Nothing particularly new about it. Um, what is new is it seems like now that Biden is in office, uh, they're winding it down. Uh, you know, the DSA, bread tube, Jacobin, uh, they don't really have a reason to exist anymore, right? These are wings of the establishment uh, that, that put out a socialist sounding message uh, that is safe and is, you know, comfortable for the leaders and then they police the rest of the movement. And I think right now, right now, because uh, Biden is in and the Trump movement is defeated and down for the count, uh, they're trying to prove their relevancy. Uh, you know, they're trying to argue that basically they're still relevant, they're not irrelevant, they still have a reason to exist. And that reason to exist is that they're gonna purge, you know, they're gonna go after Jimmy Dore and they're gonna go after Convo Couch and they're gonna go after Anybody, you know, anyone who supports Tulsi Gabbard or anybody who, you know, doesn't support overthrowing the Cuban government or doesn't support overthrowing the government of Venezuela or the government of Syria or the government of Iran. And they're trying to prove to the establishment they still have some value. And, you know, the whole thing with Anna Kasparian and Aaron Mate and that whole thing. Again, they really don't have a reason to exist right now. So they're, they're struggling. They're struggling to prove that they're still relevant to the powers that be by by ultra ramping up their role of, you know, smearing and trying to destroy people's lives. And so that's why I wanted to just quickly make this video. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, uh, trying to get to the point, which is that I've been canceled. I've been canceled and I'm still here. And you will be too. Uh, you know, I started making videos and, you know, immediately, immediately, people decided that because I spoke with a, a respected Russian anti-imperialist intellectual who has his own perspective that I don't agree with, oh my God, he's a Nazbol. No, I talked to somebody who used to be part of the Nazbol party and now runs the Eurasian movement. And people decided that, uh, you know, because I interviewed somebody who has a position on the transgender issue, that I must be a, an evil transphobe. Well, no, I work with a lot of trans people. I've always been sympathetic to the trans community and what they go through. I don't know very much about it, and I don't want to know because I view it as a human rights issue. I have a lot of love for my trans friends. I don't want anyone to harm them. But other than that, when it comes to what gender means and what it, what it is, I just, I don't know, you know? And I, I, I respect them and I want them to be respected. I want them to be who they are and have the right to be who they are and not have anybody mess with them. But other than that, I just don't get into it, um, you know? And folks, these people, you will never please them. So that's the first thing you need to get through your head is that when they come for you and they start with the red, brown, Nazbol stuff, you will never please them. No matter what you do, does not matter. You're a secret Nazi, you're a red brown. No matter what, no matter what. You know, you could go out and say the sky is blue and they'll tweet out like, you know, that blue, everyone knows blue is a code word for white supremacist groups. There was a white supremacist group in France in 1942 that used blue as its code sign. These people are idiots and you'll never please them. And when you fall into that trap of trying to please them, you're only making it worse. 
because the more you fall into the trap of trying to please them, the more you look weak and pathetic. And at the end of the day, when stuff gets real, all right, now, you know, we're talking on the internet and all that, but as the capitalist crisis continues, people are gonna want real organizations. People are gonna want real leaders who can really get things done. And when things get real, when things get real, at that point, people are not gonna wanna follow a weak person. People are not gonna wanna follow somebody who goes, oh, I'm sorry, I disavow this guy. People are gonna wanna follow somebody with strength. People are gonna follow somebody who's got some oomph behind what they say. And if you can withstand being canceled, if you can withstand you know, the hate videos and the smears and the lies, if you can withstand it, people will respect you. I've gotta tell you, I don't know how many people that I've met in the last year who had never heard of me until these people started attacking me. And then they watched my content and they said, wow, wow, that's just a pack of lies. You know, Caleb's anti-racist. Caleb's anti-imperialist. Caleb, you know, Caleb is one of the smartest, well-informed people about Marxism I've ever heard. People love my lectures and all of that. And people see right through it. And when it gets down to it, you have to keep in mind that at the end of the day, the DSA, Jacobin, bread tube crowd are the best friends that real Nazis ever had. Because if everyone's a Nazi, if people are married to non-white people, but they're still Nazis, if people have spent their life fighting racism and opposing police brutality, and they're still, so, still Nazis, if everyone's a Nazi because they disagree with one position or they talk to somebody or whatever, pretty soon nobody's a Nazi. Pretty soon nobody's a Nazi. You gotta think about that. So my advice is if, if they come after you, you know, don't be weak. Don't be pathetic. We worship weakness on the left. We gotta get over that. You know, you can be strong. You can be a strong socialist. Don't be over-socialized. Consider it a badge of honor when they come after you. Stand your ground and you will come out of this stronger than ever. You will come out of this stronger than ever. Don't be weak. Don't be cowardly. Don't be pathetic. When they come for you, when they start trying to destroy your life and spreading fake rumors and, and reinterpreting everything, first of all, there's nothing you can do to please these people. Nothing, right? No matter what you do, they will make something up. And two, you'll come out of this better because when people see you stand your ground, they'll respect you. So I'm still here. They can make up whatever horse, horse garbage they want. I'm still here. I actually believe in this stuff. These people don't. At the end of the day, most of these internet people, they don't really believe in this. They don't really believe in this stuff. You can tell that, you know. They call up Ben Burgess and he tells them, you know, what Marx said. They haven't read Marx. You know, they, they, they Google and they get on Wikipedia and they read about this stuff. They don't really believe this. They don't really believe this stuff. They're good at the high school drama part, the gossip and all that. At the end of the day, they don't really believe in this stuff. Well, I do and you do. And if you stick around and you endure this, people are gonna respect you. So that's all I gotta say. Just wanted to make a quick video because it needs to be said. Thanks.